you've you've been very early in crypto and NFTs, but that's not the only place where you've been early. You've been pretty early on the general trends of, for example, the internet too, which was a huge trend. And now we're in the web three. You're pretty early on the web two, maybe even web one, who knows? So do tell us a little bit, how do you find yourself always being so early on these opportunities? You know, uh, so, so I'm old, um, old enough to be your father twice over, as it turns out. I'm like, wow, okay, I, I am. Uh, yeah, um, I've always been into tech. I bought my first computer when I was 16 years old back in 1980. Uh, I was a Radio Shack Model 1 computer, and, and I was dialing in to bulletin board services on my coupler modem at 300 baud in 1980. So I've been in the online world now for over 41 years. And I like to play with the toys. I'm just, I'm a, I'm a kid. You know, it all, I, a part of my bio is eternal 12-year-old because I like mm. to play and I'm curious. And so when you're curious about all the new technology and you play with it, sometimes you find something that you really like that works. Uh, and then in, in, invariably, as you become proficient in it, people ask you, how did you do that? And you become the expert in it. And so I've done that again and again. You know, I built my first website back in 1995. I built a game site with a partner in 1997, sold it to Yahoo. Uh, it became Yahoo Games, which used to be the biggest multiplayer site on the web until Yahoo screwed it up. Um, and I built, I built That's iPhone cool. apps. I've blogged. I've done internet marketing, social media marketing, um, uh, affiliate marketing, video, okay. live video, podcasting. I, I, I pretty much I dabble and I play with what's interesting to me. And right now, that is uh, and it's been for the last four and a half years, cryptocurrency, and um, and more recently, NFTs. Okay.